Shalom all my brother and sister in Christ. I like to show you again ya yeah, the confirmation about the rapture time frames. This time I got the <coughs> information from a uh, minister Paul in the YouTube. You can visit his channel also ya. Yeah. That uh, he got the revelation from God that the rapture will take place on Sunday morning. The reason why I believe that the there a uh, testimony yeah, about the dreams. I think a few people ya. Yeah, they got the dream from God. That the rapture of the church take place on Sunday, Sunday morning, and also when the time yeah, at the church, right? The church service when the people and Christian attending the church service and then the rapture of the church take place. If you know the videos in the YouTube where there are the people at the church, okay, only a few married for uh, of the <coughs> married for the rapture get cut up. The rest be, uh, be left behind at the church, the, at the church building. I like to show you the video from uh, Minister Paul. Yeah, hold on. Just want to be sure have the voice. And I say Harpocalypse for Harpo by Cat. And this movie pops up. I kid you not. Sunday morning rapture. And I'm gonna watch it. Sun. All right. I would like to repeat it again. This video. So I grab my remote. And I say Harpocalypse for Harpo by Cat. And this movie pops up, I kid you not. Sunday morning rapture. And I'm going to watch it. Sun yeah. Is that biblical? Sunday morning rapture? I'd like to show you. According to the Bible. Okay. To prove it. Hold on. According to the Bible, which one? Yeah, I think I Google it earlier. Yeah. Was Christ raised from the dead on Sunday or Saturday? Okay. It says, this one, yeah. It does not mean, yeah, from according to this verse, yeah, in Matthew 28, verse 1, in the end of Sabbath or late on the Sabbath. This seems to say the woman came to the tomb, and, sorry, to the tomb and found it empty on the evening of the Sabbath, which will indicate that Jesus was raised on Saturday, not Sunday. This is wrong. Misinterpret, misinterpret interpret the Bible. It does not mean Jesus was raised from the grave on Saturday, on Saturday for three important reasons. Okay? Jesus was resurrected on Sunday. Here I show you. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome, bought spices, spices, yeah, so they might go and anoint him. And ev and very earlier on the very day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came into the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, which it, it was still dark, and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So the other record is very clear, yeah? The visit occurred around dawn on the first day of the week. All right? So I already show you can read yourself if you would like to, yeah? To learn about this biblical evidence um, so that on uh, first day of the week is on sunday morning when jesus was resurrected and also disciples met together on the resurrection sunday john 20 first 11 uh, first 19 then on sunday a week later okay john 20 verse 26 the church was established on pentecost with always come on sunday leviticus 23 verse 15 to 16 x Two, verse 1. The early Christians under the leadership of inspired men worship on Sunday, Acts 20, verse 7, and also 1 Corinthians 16, verse 2. That day was later designed as the Lord's Day, Revelation chapter 1, verse 10. Lord Day, I think Revelation 1, verse 10 eh, is different. This the one in Revelation is the Lord's Day. Eh? In the Bible, not talking about the go to church on Sunday. 
The day of the Lord is talking about the about God's judgment during seven years tribulation. Let me check uh, Revelation 1 verse 10 ya. Hold on. If I can find it. Let me google it ya. Revelation. It said Revelation 1. Verse 10. On the Lord day and heard behind me a great day of the trumpet. Yeah, this is talking about the seven years tribulation. It's not about the Lord day. Uh, on Sunday, a lot of church thinking about the Lord day on Sunday when people worship God. Yeah, during the church service in the church building. No, this is the Lord day about the talking seven years tribulation, the day of the Lord, like it says in the <coughs> in the Old Testament. Mention about the day of the Lord is the about the The day of darkness, the day of uh, judgment, something like that. This is the same thing also. It's not about the Sunday, okay? So that that only the one, the thing is not accurate for the article, but the other one is correct. The church, I mean, uh, Jesus Christ was raised on Sunday morning. Because that Sabbath, yeah, from um, sundown, Friday, uh, Friday, yeah, Or around six o'clock, until last until Saturday, sundown again at six o'clock, from Friday to Saturday. Okay, after six o'clock, seven o'clock at night, something like that. That already first day of the week, according to Jewish tradition, and that also in the biblical time, yeah. So, uh, first day of the week, from sundown, uh, Saturday. Evening and night, and until the next day. On Sunday. All right, it's not the Sunday from midnight like a uh, our day. Then, according to, biblical. Day, okay, that what they believe, and according to, the Bible says too. So, why I mention about this? Jesus died, and uh, I mean uh, on the cross, and three days and three nights later, yeah. I believe uh, he was resurrected, I'm sorry, he was uh, crucified on Thursday, it's not on Friday. And then, <clears throat> because the Bible very clear, it says uh, he was buried for three days and three nights, all right? So the three days, three nights, this literally, literal, literally, eh, we have to interpret in- literally, almost on the dead The word of God, eh, we have to interpret it literally. Other than the symbol. The symbol is a different thing, like the beast. He's saying in the book of Revelation, first beast and second beast. This talking about the first beast is the Antichrist. And the second beast, the false prophet. The beast itself about the symbol. But a lot of the event in the book of Revelation is we have to interpret it literally. It's not just symbol. The same thing with this. Jesus died on the... And re- verse buried, yeah, for three days and three nights. And then uh, he was resurrected and raised from the dead on the first day of the week or Sunday morning. All right? So that what, what connection with the rapture event? So it's proof. Jesus Christ is the first fruit. The Bible very clear says that. The first one who got resurrected and uh, got in the glorified body. <clears throat> Because before eh, he was a fully human being, even though he still have, he's fully God himself too, all right. But as a, in the human being form, okay. After he died, he got resurrected again, in in then in in this is glorified body. He is his first fruit. In the Bible, very clear said that, as the first fruit. Yeah. Let me see. Go back to here. Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ, um, the first one, and then following the those who died in Christ, like he says in for the during that uh, rapture event, First Thessalonians four, verse sixteen to seventeen. Those who died in Christ first get resurrected, and then those who still alive. Also, their body will change in the you know in the glorified body in the twinkling of an eye. The same thing that those who Get resurrected. 
their body change in twinkling in an eye during that rapture event before seven years tribulation take place. So that yeah, since Jesus the first fruit was raised or resurrected on the first day of the week on Sunday, same thing. The rapture event will take place on Sunday morning. On the first week, on the first day of the week. Okay, yeah, you, you know what I mean? So Jesus died on the cross. Uh, sorry, yeah, for and then uh, he was buried for three days and three nights. And then he was uh, raised on the first day of the week on Sunday. The same thing. He is the first fruit. The same thing. The true church. Those who died in Christ. Okay, and the uh, rapture saints. Okay, happen during that rapture event, and they change their body in a glorified body, and it will happen on Sunday morning. All right. So what happened with, with the, you know, those who died in Christ, was raised, and then their body change in the also in the in glorified body, and then the those who still alive, the for the rapture saints. So how about those who died in Christ already? They're in heaven. Yes, they're in heaven, in there, with, with their soul and spirit, but not in the glorified body yet. They just soul and spirit in in the heaven. Same thing with those in hell. But those in hell do not get the glorified body, just in hell. Their soul and spirit. But the thing dur- during a rapture event, those already died in Christ, they also their body will be changed in the glorified body or in the resurrected body, just like Jesus Christ. Jesus is the first fruit. So the event should take place on Sunday morning. The Bible very clear said, and also God already revealed it to Minister Paul. Other than that, I would like to tell you about the <clears throat> other confirmation for the, the, the Sunday time frame, yeah? Hold on. Let me show you again. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Christmas. Okay. I mentioned already in several times in my other video that many dreams and vision for the rapture event take place yeah, on Sun. Uh, sorry, not just on Sunday. On Christmas holiday. All right. Christmas holiday this year. In the year 2022, is on Sunday, December 25th. You see? So the other year, yeah, I noticed, yeah, maybe long time, no, no Sunday. Only this year, 2022. I did the reason already. You can do the reason yourself. Only this year. Next year, not on Sunday. I think Monday or Tuesday, I forget which one. And then the next year again, 2024 and 2025, it's not on Sunday. Only this year on Sunday. Christmas on Sunday. Because many end time dreams and vision about the rapture event happen on uh, Christmas. Also about the Hanukkah festival. Close at that time too. With Christmas time this year. I mentioned already that Hanukkah will take place. Or uh, yeah, have, uh, not just take place. I'm talking about the Hanukkah festival. From December 18 until December 26, last for eight days. So many, I think not as many Christmas rapture dreams and vision. Some I saw yeah, that the uh, Hanukkah rapture dreams and vision happen. Rapture happen during the Hanukkah festival. So Hanukkah this year, close to Christmas holiday also. From December 18 to December 26. Okay, on Sunday, December 26. Alright? And it was December 25th on Sunday. The other Sunday, and during the Hanukkah festival, so if the Sunday, I and mean Sunday, December 25th this year, the other Sunday, December 25th minus 7, yeah? So, uh, December 18th. I don't think um, uh, still look like a Christmas season, December eighteen. I'm more more uh, toward to December twenty fifth itself. You could count it. You get prepare on December eighteen too. Still look like still already look like Christmas uh, 
holiday during that December 18. All right? I think more likely on December 25th itself. But people have to be ready <coughs> when the rapture this, okay, the rapture event take place. Either on December 18 or December 26. December 18 also the Hanukkah festival. Okay, because start on December 18 and last until December 26. So then December 18 just right on Sunday. And then December 25th start on Sunday too. This is very interesting rapture event. Time frame. I do not see anybody have the clue like I am telling you. Because what I see according to dreams and vision and the Bible says that. Do I, the Bible mention also about the, you know, how about the, this holiday <coughs> rapture happen during the, this holiday. Okay, not just about the church holiday and the biggest one also Christmas holiday. And also Jewish festival. For Jewish themselves. He's talking about the Jews. Uh, of course, the, this rapture event could be also not just a Gentile. Eh, if the, maybe very few. Eh, there, uh, I'm sure there are the people who are uh, Jewish descendant. Okay, not just Gentile. Who become Christian, true Christian, and who believe the rapture. Who ready for the rapture. He, they make it for the rapture too. Not just all 100% the Gentiles. I'm sure very few. The Jewish too, although yeah, this uh, seven years tribulation mainly for the Jewish people because that's why it's called Jacob Trouble, all right? Or um, yeah, Jacob Trouble. So for Jewish himself, but of course for lukewarm Christian who get left behind the Gentile and also the other people Gentile, both Gentile and Jews, yeah, who get left behind. The unbeliever one, all right. So, uh, this is very interesting. What would the Bible says <clears throat> about the, you know, the the festival? Okay, a lot of people okay celebrate this festival, the holiday, but forget about what the true meaning the holiday itself. More important, the holiday itself rather than God. That's why God hate it. That's why this uh, rapture could take place yeah, on this holiday itself. When the destruction come, okay, so happen out right after the rapture. I, t- I told you already uh, that seven years tribulation will begin when after the Antichrist signed the peace treaty with many nations, according to Daniel 9, verse 24 to 27. This is what I see. The seven years tribulation not right away happen after the rapture. It will take place sometime in the year 2023. So maybe uh, around that springtime, something like that. Okay, this is what I see. So, uh, what the Bible said about that? Okay, I'd like to show you, yeah. Maybe so you have some ID before I end this video. Let me Google it, yeah. Um... The Bible says, God disp- despise yeah, people who just more following their holiday, the festival, rather than to God himself. Okay? Bible says, oh, sorry, God, your festival. Something like that, yeah? I forget which one, the chapter, I know in Jeremiah, And Amos, oh no, internet connection, sorry. I have to start over again, eh? So I have trouble with this. Let me start it again, okay? Let's see. Oh, maybe here. Is that what? How will do that, eh? Oh, shit. I'm not sure what, what happened, eh? This is my pawn. Sometime have trouble this my older pawn yeah so anyway i can show you next time in more detail because this video is also kind of long already yeah almost long no not very long so uh i remember the bible mentioned that and despite your uh, holidays because forget about the god more important in the holiday itself than god himself it's very clear yeah? during their christmas season people just more pay attention you know more focus to themselves Like Chris, uh, 
what they give exchange and the party, the food, stuff like that, then God himself then focus to Jesus Christ himself. That's why God do not like it, yeah. So, it's very, the Bible very clear. I can put this uh, information, yeah, about what Bible says to prove it, yeah, what scripture, scripture says to you in my description board, in this, uh, um, on the, under this video, okay. So, uh, yeah, this another um, evidence, yeah. The rapture will take place during that Christmas season and Hanukkah festival on Sunday morning. I do not set up the rapture date. This is from the confirmation and yeah, from God himself. And also the end time dreams and vision, yeah, about the rapture event that God told us already. Thanks for listening.